Hey everyone, this is Kirk here again from Option Alpha. And in this video, I wanna walk through the newest feature that we just released in our latest platform update, which is the ability to instantly create a bot from any backtest inside the backtesting database. Now, of course, you have to have access to the backtester, which is only for pro and elite members now. But once you do, you can instantly create a bot from any backtest that you see. Now, in this case, we have an IWM iron condor strategy that we just backtested. This is trading an iron condor strategy with weekly entries, and it's using entry criteria of selling options 10 days from expiration with long and short strikes at these deltas, filtering for implied volatility rank between 20 and 100. It's taking profits at 25% or exiting the position if it gets one day from expiration. So again, we put all this into the back tester and then ran this test with multiple different portfolio allocations. We tested an allocation of 1% per position, 2% and 3% per position. And you can see the different performance of the different allocations. Again, this is the exact same strategy, just also layering on top different portfolio allocations moving forward. As always with any backtest inside of the database, you can see the different allocations and its performance metrics and ratios moving forward so you can choose which one works best for you. Once you're good to go here, you can simply go up to the top now and hit the button to create a bot. When you hit that button, the system will give you a prompt to choose which allocation you wanna use for the bot that you're about to create. In this case, we're gonna use the 3% of capital per position for our example. Once we do that, it brings up the new bot wizard, which is your place where you can specify exactly what account it goes into, how much capital it has to allocate, and confirm all of the settings for your new bot. So all we're gonna do here is just simply give it a name like Kirk's new bot. Then we can confirm the account that we want this bot tied to, whether it's our trading account or any of our live accounts connected to any of our brokers. Then we choose the allocation that we want the bot to have for entering new positions. Next, all we have to do is confirm or edit any of the fields that are inside of the bot wizard. Now these were all automatically pulled over from the actual entry criteria and set up for our back test that we just ran. Remember, we said that we were entering this position weekly on IWM selling options around 10 days to expiration with the deltas that we set up here. And we already told the bot to allocate up to 3% of the bot's allocation. Again, because we're using the bot wizard, if we wanna make any changes or modifications, we just simply click on any of the fields and then use our simple, easy to use natural language recipes to make changes to our particular bot. Notice down in the bottom section of the bot wizard, all of the entry and exit criteria were automatically created for us. We basically just reused everything that we had inside of the back tester for filtering for new positions. So for example, we had told the bot when we were back to, or told the back tester when we were running the research to filter trades and only enter positions when implied volatility rank was above 20. So that entry criteria has been filled in for you. If you wanna make any changes or modifications, of course, you have the ability to do it here. Make any changes or confirm any different entry criteria that you wanna to add to your bot moving forward. Again, inside of the exit criteria, you can see all of the different ways in which the bot would exit the position that would mimic the back tester as closely as possible. In this case, we're telling the bot that it can exit positions when it expires in less than one market day and when the market time is after 3 p.m. so that we try to exit the position at the end of the trading day. We could also exit the position when the position premium decreases by 25%, which would be our 25% profit target. Again, if you wanna make any changes here, like taking out the time interval that was added, you can just simply edit any of those fields inside of the bot wizard. Once you're good to go, you simply can hit the button to create your bot. Your brand new bot has been created and added to your account. By default, enforce security and your protection, all of the automations are automatically turned off. This ensures that only you are the one who is confirming and turning on the automations before the bot starts running. But what's so cool about using this new bot wizard to create bots from a back test is that inside the automation tab, you can see that all of your entry and exit scanners have been added automatically for you. Inside of your entry scanner, it's going through all the sets of decisions that would eventually lead to opening a new position. 
checking to see if the bot can open a new position, has enough capital and availability and frequency, and then going through all the entry criteria. Again, checking to see if implied volatility rank is above 20 and making sure that the opportunity you're looking for is actually available. Notice that we do some pretty intelligent and smart things to add additional recipes in here that our users find very helpful. If you don't like any of them or if you want to add more, you can always edit and modify your new bot that you've created right here in your automation editor. Once you're good to go, it would then send orders over to your broker to start entering this new position, again, exactly like you specified in the new bot wizard. Again, everything is set up for you automatically and you have total and absolute control over what happens inside of your bot before you turn it on. Once you're good to go, all you have to do is simply turn on your automations and now your new bot is running. It's using the same data and criteria or any modified version of the one that we had in the back tester. And now the ability to create a bot from a back test makes it easier and faster to spin up automated strategies and to start auto trading. Now, of course, we always want to encourage you to remember that backtesting is just a tool that you can use as a trader. And certainly backtested performance does not mean that the bot and the market performance will behave exactly the same moving forward. So we always encourage you to make sure that you're paper trading any strategies and forward testing those inside of your account to make sure they're behaving and performing exactly as you would expect before you turn them on into a live account. Again, you could do this inside of your settings, inside of your bot, and make any changes or modifications and test different variables or parameters for your new bot moving forward. Our goal in giving you the ability to create a bot from a back test is to help you speed up the process of automating any strategy you want. Again, it's still up to you as the trader to determine if the strategy and the risk profile of that particular setup is appropriate and right for you. And you always have control of this inside of your account and inside of your automations. As always, if you have any changes that you wanna to make to a bot, you can modify those by simply just going into any of the automations or any of the actions and settings of your bot. At any point, if you wanna turn off your bot, of course, you can just turn off the automations, which will stop the scanners and monitors from running. You'll just wanna make sure that you take over control or override positions that the bot currently has open in its account. Again, the goal of this particular new feature is to help speed up the process of bot creation using backtesting data and research as the foundation for building core strategies. And we think that you'll love the ability and added flexibility to edit or modify any of the different bots that get created for you using the new wizard.